One question that makes for a very interesting conversation is whether art is talent or a skill. On one hand, if it is talent, that means you are born with it. On the other hand, if it is skill, that means you have a choice in how skillful you become. My name is Rylees Vasquez, and today we're going to discuss why I think talent isn't enough. So there's a third element that I think is even more important, and that is interest or passion. I think that art and developing your art skills has a lot more to do with passion than anything else. And this is why. So let's say that you are talented at drawing and painting where, you know, maybe it comes easy to you. And so you take it for granted and are less interested in putting in the effort and the time. You are going to be at a disadvantage versus a person that maybe doesn't have the talent, but has a strong interest in drawing and painting. Naturally, the person that's more interested is going to be willing to put in as many hours as it takes to developing their skills. This is something that I've seen time and time again in my life. I've seen plenty of people that have obvious talent but aren't working to develop it, whether it's due to lack of interest, lack of time, or lack of discipline. On the other hand, I've seen people with very little talent to begin to dedicate themselves at a certain skill and through time become masters, experts, or at least very advanced in that field. And here's the thing, on a personal note, I know for a fact that I would put myself with a second group that is less talent based and more skill development based. And I think maybe it's a good opportunity to talk a bit about my journey with drawing and painting. My family and I immigrated from Dominican Republic to the US when I was seven years old. And this is the moment that I fell into art. I continued drawing for years and eventually picked up painting in high school. And by the time I got out of high school, I had gotten my skills to the point where I felt confident in my ability to draw and paint. Enough so that I eventually decided to pursue it as a career when I got to college. Now, this is something that's important to note Art has never come easy to me. And I'm gonna repeat this. Art has never come easy to me. I know this may be surprising, but let me explain. I never thought I was talented the first few years that I started drawing. In fact, I always felt frustrated at the fact that it would take me so long, most of the time longer than everyone else, to learn to develop this skill in an area that I was interested in. And that's kind of the point that I'm trying to make. There was something else that was driving me, and I think it was the passion I had for it or this interest that I had in developing this skill. Some of us are interested in things that do not come easy to us, and I think that's perfectly fine. We need to make more room for that narrative because I know it's true. For a lot of people, it takes a tremendous amount of work, time, discipline, and sacrifice to excel in a particular skill. And if that interest isn't there, you're most likely not gonna put in the work required to become advanced or an expert in that field. For those of you watching and listening, this is good news because the fact that you are watching this kind of content means that you are interested in developing your artistic practice. My issue is that the word talent gets used pretty loosely because often when we use that word, we're taking away from our ability to improving our skills. I often hear people say, I don't have the talent to do this or that, I don't have the talent to draw, I don't have the talent to paint, and I often hear it as an excuse for not putting in the work. It's almost never about talent, it's about putting in the time to build your skills. I know we've all heard someone say, I wish I could do art, but I can only draw stick figures. And this statement comes from the belief that talent is the only way. I think we can all agree that the myth of talent can be harmful. It can often make people believe that either you have it or you don't. And if you don't, why try? I think a better way of thinking about art specifically is that art is something that takes a lot of practice and dedication, just like any other skill. And this is something that I don't understand. Help me understand this, please. It may take a doctor over 10 years of university study to become an expert in their practice. 
and to be able to even begin their practice. It may take a basketball player 10, 15 years of practice and competition to be able to have the chance to play professionally. So my question is, why would we think that when it comes to art, it should be any different? Just like anything else, giving yourself the time and having the patience is very important. It's what's going to take you from below average to average to good to great. Working at your craft every day in a disciplined manner will give you the best opportunity. There is, of course, a case that should be made for talent, and one can certainly have advantages. For example, a pianist who is born with long fingers will have an advantage, such as a basketball player who is over 6 feet tall. They still have to spend thousands of hours developing their skills, but it helps to be able to have this sort of talent or this sort of innate ability. And so a question that I want to ask you is, are you passionate about art? For most people who choose to pursue art, it's because they continue to feel excited even after failed attempts. They usually feel like they need to keep creating and are pulled into it. In my opinion, if you're feeling this way, it's a lot more of an indicator that you can be successful even if you think you might not be talented. Drawing is a skill, painting is a skill, skills by nature take time to develop. So don't expect to create a masterpiece as soon as you start. If you begin with the mindset that art is hard work, you will give yourself the grace and time to develop your skills. I hope you enjoyed this video. In future videos, I hope to continue talking through these kinds of ideas and a bit more of my story and best practices. If you want to hear more about that, please let me know and tell me if you enjoy this format where we're thinking through concepts and ideas and less talking about the process of art making. I'd love to know your thoughts on whether you think art is more of a talent or a skill. You have my take on it. I look forward to hearing from you. Until next time, adios.